Patients with severe symptomatic aortic valve stenosis are increasingly undergoing transcatheter aortic valve implantation, or TAVI, instead of surgical aortic valve replacement, or SAVR. A new trial assessed whether TAVI would be non-inferior to SAVR in lower-risk patients who were eligible for both treatment strategies. In this randomized trial conducted at 38 centers in Germany, 1,414 adults 65 years of age or older who had severe symptomatic aortic valve stenosis were at low or intermediate surgical risk and were eligible for both procedures were assigned to undergo TAVI or SAVR. Transcatheter and surgical valve devices were chosen by the patient's heart team. The primary outcome, a composite of death from any cause or fatal or non-fatal stroke within one year, occurred in 5.4% of the patients in the TAVI group and in 10% of those in the SAVR group. TAVI therefore met the trial criteria for non-inferiority. Among the secondary outcomes, death from any cause occurred in 2.6% of the patients in the TAVI group and in 6.2% of those in the SAVR group and stroke occurred in 2.9% of the patients in the TAVI group and 4.7% of those in the SAVR group. The TAVI group was less likely than the SAVR group to have major or life-threatening bleeding and was more likely to have vascular access site complications. The authors conclude that in patients with severe symptomatic aortic valve stenosis and low or intermediate surgical risk, TAVI was non-inferior to SAVR with respect to the primary composite outcome of death from any cause or stroke through one year of follow-up. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.